Hello again. Now, I think you'll remember if you've watched them, um, I did a video on fitting this garage door completely. Then I did a video on tensioning a garage door. Then this happened. So now I get to do a video on replacing the cones and cable on a garage door. Not such a nightmare. When I bought a kit, you see, you've got two cones, one left, one right. You've got two cables, you've got two new pins. 12 quid. Very cheap, really. You do it yourself, very cheap. So, watch it, I'll show you how to do it. It's really simple. If you've not watched the tension in one, go watch that one first because the first thing you need to do is take the tension up on this spring. So, do that first. Take up the tension on that spring and lock it off. Right now, in this cone is a pin. It's just the other side of this wide plate part. You've got to knock that out. Now, make sure what you knock it out with is smaller than the pin itself. But the problem you've got here is because this has snapped, if you've got one that's snapped, is that has already spun round a full circle. So getting a span on and lifting it up is not enough. But what you need to do is when you've got that pin out, use this bar, push it round, put a second bar underneath and take that one out. It's difficult. Believe me, it's difficult. A spanner on there won't do, won't do, it'll, it'll just go. I put a set of mole grips on. It grips it better. And that can act as an anchor when you pull one out and get the other one in. But you've got to go beyond one turn. You've got to go virtually another full turn to get it off. Once you've done it and you can get your pin in, which you must get that pin in before you take this off. Once you've got the pin in, then you can take that off. And that is then aligned. The pin is in the correct place. Everything is in the correct place. Right now in the pack you get two cones, two cables and two pins. Now the, the cables are already fed in and there is a left and a right. So make sure you get them correct. The left one is white, the right one is the other colour. I say that because mine is red, the book says black. White is the common denominator, so we take the white one, put that to one side, that's not the one we need at this point. What we need at this point is the black one, or red one, or whatever colour you've got one. And then you need the pin. So no pin, big pin, it's bigger than the last one, um, but it doesn't matter. Now, when you put it on, it needs to go on and match the other side. I am on the other side and there I'm facing downwards, straight down, so I'm going to match it. It doesn't say in the book this, it says put it on and then loop it over once. The other one isn't, so I don't know. I'm going to try it and see by length and such. Your track running down, there is a screw in the middle, if you've not already started it, that needs to be removed. You can't get it to it at this point. The bottom one, Oh, the bottom one you get to now. And it's too tight for me. Oh, okay. I've got more grips. Nothing's too tight when you've got more grips. Right, I managed to fill up the screw and there's another one above it as well. You need to get them out and come through. This is so that you can get the cable over the end of your track. So now that's freeing out of the way. That can come off for a minute. Huh? You get this run over bar there. Now as I said I'm matching the other side so I'm keeping it looking downwards, feed it around everything. So like feeding it around there, keeping it the same as it is with the other side. So I've got the, the hole for the pin is there. That makes that straight downwards. Right, there is the hole, so it is there. And um, it's very tight. So you want to be sure before you commit yourself. And tap it in. Then get your mole grips on that nut. Again, I wouldn't use a spanner. These nuts are very soft. 
in comparison to what you'd expect them to be. You put some, too much lead beads on it and it's just jumping. So, set more grips, take the pressure and pull out your pin and then relax it. And that's it, hopefully. That should be the job done. So that's what I'm going to do right now and put this back in. Put this back together again. Next thing we need to do is get it greased up. Especially what just broke on me. That's it. Right, open it up and grease it up. There we are. Thank God for that, I can get out again. One working door again. Grease that track and then go up and grease that cable. Now that's your new comb, with the cable all nicely tensioned and wound around it. Okay, right, well, there you go. Now you know how to change the cone and cable should yours break. And um, just remember that you've got to turn that cone, the old cone, around half a turn extra before you actually get it to go. Otherwise you'll not get it located in. And um, other than that, Quite a simple job, really. Right, well, thanks for watching us again. I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.